the Betfred Bowl is next. Three mile one furlong grade one almost. Liverpool's version of the Gold Cup, but very different courses as we saw in the last race. Dressed to impress Craig Beckwith, Giran Citizen, David Robertson, Jimmy Hatz, Alex Cherry, San Pedro Cartel and San Pedro Paddy for Vinnie Gerard. The lineup: Joshua Sullivan, Wooden Ship, Leon Van Rensburg, Barley Notes, James Shea, Finding Alice Martin, Adam Haberley, Darren Thompson, Yorker Dream, David Hooley, My Place Later Days, James Shea, New Year's Day, Marty Lidham, Nightclub of Craig Beckwith, Passionate Queen, David Robertson, Queen of the Night, John Morgan, She's Flying, David Hooley, Smell of Victory, Leon Van Rensburg, Stalky Dove for John Morgan, The Widow, Joshua Sutherland, Violets, No Weighty, Alex Cherry, and Zara Cover for Darren Thompson. So 22 runners in this. That's one more than tomorrow's Grand National, which is a bit odd. Then away and racing. There's not really a three mile handicap is at the Liverpool meeting anyway they get over the first of the 17 and Storky Dove's gone and now that is really going to make a change to this race because Storky Dove is the one that we'd have expected to take them along and he's obviously now not going to be doing that so we're going to be looking for some pace now and I'm not sure where it's going to come from so we get to the second and the rest of them are over the second okay and Zara Cover and Haberley the two Darren Thompson horses with in between them Queen of the Night who was probably hoping for some pace to be set by stable companion Storky Dove who's gone then comes New Year's Day who's certainly not a front runner you can see the grey closest to us finding nice that one the Fox Hunter at Cheltenham last week and that certainly isn't a front runner so there is going to be no pace on here it's going to be tactical this it's going to get messy I think as well when we see what happens it'll probably be a sprint towards the end and we want to lose a bit of ground on these sharp turns as well but it's Zara Cover who's in the lead from Queen of the Night in second the lineup is in third San Pedro Cartel is next then Haberley is after that one Jimmy Hatz and Smell of Victory Mallorca Dream is next looking towards the back Nightclubber is the early back marker when it's Queen of the Night John Morgan Horse in the lead, but not the one we expected to be in the lead, I don't think. Most of us were expecting to see Storky Dove have them strung out. But that's not been the case, because Storky Dove fell at the first fence as they get over the fourth. I remember the real version of this race way back in about... Oh, when would it be? Probably about 1986, maybe, was it? Be 86, maybe 85, I can't remember now. But anyway, like Wayward Lad was a red off and he fell at the first fence as well. Anyway, Storky Dove fell at the first. I don't think he was quite that sort of price. But anyway, they get to the sixth. I'm rambling already. Finding Alice made a bad mistake there and has now dropped to the back. The only grey on those two greys in the field. Violet's no weighty is in there as well. So Queen of the Night then is two to three clear. As they get to the seventh. They're all safely over. Zara Cover is in second. Dressed to impress is next. Then Wooden Ship trying to make up for that fall in last week's Gold Cup. And Queen of the Night is the leader. Oh, dressed to impress Wooden Ship, Zara Cover. Then the lineup of Mallorca Dream, Hamley and the Widow. Then Barley Notes as they get over the next. And there's a faller there. Jiran Citizens down. So that's one of David Robertson's gone. Two fallen so far as Queen of the Night continues to lead from Mallorca Dream, who's now moved through into second as they take the ninth. Which the rest of them got over. The two greys are now at the back. Jimmy Hatz and Finding Alice. It wasn't uh, Violet's no weighty. He was the other well, great. Uh, two Alex Cherry horses. I was getting them mixed up. But it's Queen of the Night who leads them over number 10 over that one okay on oh, Mallorca Dream in second they don't jump the water jump anymore on the mild make course they used to years ago they used to you jump the Grand National water jump on the mild make course but they don't now and how long ago they stopped doing it oh, I don't think they do they certainly don't in SO7 I don't think they do it in real life anymore either but they certainly used to jump it anyway Queen of the Knights in the lead from the lineup and then the Widow the Mallorca Dream and Haverley. Zara covers after that, then Passionate Queen. My place later days on the inside. Night Clubber has made good round, the out, good round round the outside. Then San Pedro Paddy and dressed to impress with Smell of Victory. 
and towards the back barley notes has now dropped to the back and also New Year's Day is also towards the rear as well but they're well inside the final mile now and I don't think they've even started racing yet these as they get to the 11th and over that one they all go with Queen of the Night clear oh, passionate Queen in the lineup Mallorca Dream Zara cover the Widow this is the 12th the leader stood off that one but got away with it Mallorca Dream's moving into second passionate Queen is third and the lineup happily nightclub is close up and they get to the 13th all safely over the 13th and now heading off and this sharp left hand turn only five furlongs to go and four more fences to take a Mallorca dream has come to take it up from Queen of the Night over the fourth last to go Queen of the Night fought back on the inside and these two matching strides now Zara cover makes a move into third then passionate Queen smell of victory the widow and the lineup are next there's three more to jump now oh, two of these out the back haven't got into it it's all nightclub has got a lot of work to do as they get to the third last and Queen of the Night's gone back into the lead again Queen of the Night from Mallorca Dream Zara covers in third smell of victory is in fourth then passionate Queen the widow and the lineup it works to do so too happily San Pedro Cartel on the outside only two more fences to take this is the second last and Mallorca Dream jumped that well and got away from it well two lengths clear now of Queen of the Night in second Zara cover back in third and it's now Mallorca Dream who's coming down towards his final fence looking pretty strong in the lead Queen of the Night in second it's between these two as they come down to this final fence these two are clearing the rest of them over it they go and it's Mallorca Dream in front Queen of the Night is starting to fight back but Mallorca Dream is hanging on and Mallorca Dream's in the lead and Mallorca Dream wins it with Queen of the Night second and smell the victory was after that one the San Pedro horses finished next we lost both of James Shea's horses in the straight but it was a bit of a messy race that to be fair and the horses from the Gold Cup last week didn't well the Gold Cup when I didn't get into it at all did he and it's Mallorca Dream for David Hooley that takes it Queen of the Night John Morgan second smell of victory Leon Van Rensburg third and Vinnie Gerard was fourth with his was fourth and fifth with his San Pedro horses cartel and Paddy I'll get them mixed up there so there you go so I'm sure that would have been a far different result if Storky Dover had stayed on his feet a bit longer but David Hooley will not be worried about that at all